Hello and welcome to the other one 67. The topic for my message is practice of patience. We are living in a world of instant gratification, fast food, 2 minutes, noodles, quick money, get rich fast. But the Bible talks about the importance of patience and the practice of patience. In Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 and 23 Apostle Paul says the fruits of the Holy Spirit love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control patience is a fruit of the Holy Spirit How do we practice patience the pure way P U R E the pure way number 1 pause and pray when tensions are high tempers are hot tongue is heated consider pause as apostle james says in james chapter 1 words 19 and 20 let us be quick to hear slow to speak slow to anger yes let us be quick to hear slow to speak and slow to anger pause and patience can prevent a lifelong of regret and pain let me repeat it once again pause and patience can prevent a lifelong of regret and pain and the lord says reminds us in the psalm 46 words 10 to be still and know that i am lord be still and know that i am lord you stands for understand yourself many times we are very impulsive we are impatient we react rashly the problem is not with the situation not with the other person the problem is within ourselves our own negativity maybe we are not forgiven one of our colleagues our boss we are not forgiven our neighbor we are not forgiven our close relative the problem lies within ourselves as the psalmist says in psalm 139 search me o god and know my heart test me and know my thoughts and see if there is any grievous way in me and lead me to the way everlasting that should be the prayer of each one of us search me o god and know my heart test me and know my thoughts if there is any wicked or grievous way within me and lead me to the path of everlasting life that should be our prayer understand our self r stands for let us remember to be led by the holy spirit let us not react according to our impulses let us not react according to our emotions or according to our flesh as apostle paul says in galatians chapter 5 verse 16 walk by walk in the spirit so that you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh we are called to walk by the spirit not to be led by the flesh remember to be led by the holy spirit and finally friends the e stands for enlarged picture 
the big picture we have to remember constantly remind ourselves our life is very transient very temporal whatever we see whatever we hear is all transient or temporary but you and hi have a higher calling and that is reminded to us in first peter chapter 2 words 9 but you are a chosen people a royal priesthood a holy nation a people belonging to god that you may declare the prom- praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light yes we are people who are called out of darkness into his wonderful life we are called to have that big picture enlarged picture in our life so the way to practice patience pause and pray be still and know that i am god number 2 understand yourself search me o god and see my heart see my thoughts if there is any wicked and grievous way within me and lead me to the path of everlasting life that should be our prayer understand yourself or remember to walk in the spirit not to be led by the flesh and e you and i are called to have the big picture the enlarged picture thank you